Welcome to the Top Trending Topic Show. So many trends that rock and we've got it on lock. Yeah! Hey trenders, welcome to Top Trending Topics, your Friday edition of the daily show keeping you in the know, Twitter trend style. Starting us off today is Liu Xiaobo, who just won the 2010 Nobel Peace Prize for using nonviolence to demand fundamental human rights in China, where he's currently serving an 11 year prison sentence for a subversion, aka going against the government. Now, over there, people can't really talk about him because he's banned from being broadcast in the news. You can't talk about him in blogs. Even text messages aren't going through that contain his name. But everywhere else in the world, people are talking about him, and a lot. So let's see what they're saying about Liu Xiaobo. Thanks, Liu Xiaobo. Now we have to choose words even more carefully. Norway and Nobel Prize would soon be censored. But congrats anyway. Yeah, it's totally his fault that your government censors everything. People in China should just be quiet and accept that they don't have any rights. Word to Liu Xiaobo for having balls, because that's what it takes to win the Nobel Peace Prize if you live in China. Ain't that the truth. Next, people are talking about hashtag in 10 years. This is your opportunity to announce to the world in 140 characters or less what kind of great things you'll be doing in 10 years. So let's take a look at some of the achievements being promised with hashtag in 10 years. Hashtag in 10 years, I'ma find a way to fix girls' titties, whose color around their nipples is way too big and uneven to perfect little circles. Well, isn't that nice of you? It's sort of like a public service. That's wonderful. Hashtag in 10 years, I'll be looking back and think, wow, I was so stupid, but there was one clever thing I did, and that was liking Justin Bieber. Yeah, can I just agree with you on the first part? (laughs) And closing us off today is Hollywood star Johnny Depp, who went to a school in London dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow, along with some other cast members from the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, to surprise the school and especially a little girl who wrote him a letter asking him to lead a mutiny against her teachers. That, of course, has a lot of people talking and texting and tweeting about it. So let's see what they're saying about Johnny Depp. I hate the bitch who wrote to Johnny Depp and got him to come to her school and cuddle her. Stupid 12-year-old bitch. Let me guess, you didn't like to share as a child, did you? No. I love that everyone is acting like Johnny Depp just turned up to that school out of the blue, out of the kindness of his heart. What are you saying? That this was planned as a promotional stunt for the upcoming movie sequel? No. And those trenders are today's top trending topics. Where do you think you'll be hashtag in 10 years? Let me know in the comment section below. In yesterday's episode, we were talking about what takes our breath away with hashtag I can't breathe. And here's some of what you wrote. Hashtag I can't breathe when I see squirrels fight. What? That's scary shit, dude. Oh yeah, don't get between a squirrel and it's nuts. Hashtag I can't breathe when people write offended comments about one of our favorite comedians, Josh Reimer, and the super chic top trending topics. Aw, thanks, Mom. Okay, it's not really my mom. Love you, Grandma. Hashtag in 10 years, I will own YouTube. Yeah, you heard me, Google. Your days are numbered.